Have you ever wondered what the universe is truly made of? Is empty space truly empty? Science is on the cusp of mind-blowing discoveries that could revolutionize our understanding of reality and unlock a new era of technological advancements. When we think of space, we think of something completely empty. But we know for a fact that's not the case. For instance, the space between everything you see is full of electromagnetic fields. There is uh, microwaves and infrared and these galactic fluctuations of, of energies that are coming through the space right now. Space is not empty of energy, it's full of energy at the quantum level. It was at the end of the 19th century when Max Planck was studying this um, black body radiation, he discovered the quantum aspect of light and the quantum aspect of, of our physical world. And uh, this is how he discovered the zero-point energy. It turns out the seemingly empty space around us is actually brimming with a hidden energy field called zero-point energy. This energy permeates everything and may hold the key to unlocking incredible possibilities. Zero point energy or ZP is the source of energy of everything, meaning that it's the source of energy of atoms, of stars, of galaxies, of the universe, but also of the biological world. When we look at nature, we see that everything is moving, everything is spinning, and nothing is at rest. And this motion is powered by the zero point energy. It's not like a Atoms can go on and spin all their way, uh, all the time, uh, with no energy source. We understood that everything is powered by the, the zero-point energy and uh, that we can harness it and uh, use it to, uh, to build technology in the same way that nature is using it. When you look at the technology we have in the world today, everything that uh, runs on electromotor, you know, everything from, you know, our appliances in the home to our computers to our cell phones, they rely on the physics that we have today. The physics developed by Michael Faraday, Max Planck that led us to electromagnetism. The physics that we're developing now, unified physics, is a direct roadmap to the technology that can emerge. The new technology that's going to result from this is it's, you have to completely rethink how we operate on this planet. If we're not limited by energy, it's unfathomable to think of how far we can go. By doing our research on zero-point energy and understanding that the whole universe is extracting the energy of the zero point, we can understand that our cell and our atoms are actually extracting this energy continuously on the everyday life. And maybe if we understand a bit more deeper how it functions and how the cells are extracting this zero-point energy of quantum vacuum fluctuation energy density. Maybe we can produce new technologies that will enhance this mechanism and enhance the energy that is available to, to our body. The universe holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. By delving into the mysteries of space-time and zero-point energy, we embark on a journey not just of scientific discovery, but of human potential. The International Space Federation, or ISF, is an organization based on unified physics and the education behind it, and the research and technology into the technologies resulting from the unified physics. Uh, so right now, the main technologies of focus are energy production, gravity control, and biotech. Our physicists at the International Space Federation, they're publishing a series of papers right now that unifies physics. Uh, they published one in September called The Origin of Mass and the Nature of Gravity. And there's two more papers in the series that are also going to come out that wrap up the rest of the um, unification of physics. One of the main goals of ISF is really to educate the public, to let the public know that there is these new theories that are emerging, so they understand that there is a really amazing, bright future for humanity that's, that's developing that could like completely transform your daily life. International Space Federation is independent. It doesn't rely on funding from large corporations, from special interests. We're self-funded. There's a beauty in that because what we're developing is for the world. And so 
since it's for the world, having it be invested for humanity by humanity is just the perfect solution to keep it decentralized. And we have a few ways that, that we ask for help and funding so that we can launch that much faster. We have contributions. We also have memberships for as little as $20 a month. We also have perpetual bonds so you can participate in our profit sharing, which is, is a payback. You help us, we're going to help you later as we help the planet together. When we talk about what we're doing at the International Space Federation, people think it sounds like science fiction. They think, oh, maybe my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren may have this someday. No, this is, this is soon. This is a handful of years. This is, we need everybody on board that's in physics education, that has an interest to really pay attention to the physics coming out of International Space Federation so they can help develop it that much faster. Visit spacefed.com to learn more about the International Space Federation and their work in pushing the boundaries of space exploration and energy research. Be a part of the future. Explore the possibilities.